Hey there, Leo, lovely Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Thank you guys so much for being here today. So this is a general reading for your love connection. It's good for whenever you're finding the video. And if you don't find this reading res resonating within the first few minutes, um, you know, don't feel bad for just clicking off and going to find another reading, either uh, another one here on my channel or another channel. So many good readers out there. So you guys have a birthday coming up pretty soon if you're a Leo sun. So that's exciting. I know you guys are like the birthday sign. You guys are the, like the ones who like to celebrate birthdays the most. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get first get the overall energy of your connection. And um, if you like this reading, um, I would love it if you subscribed here if you haven't already. I do bring out Leo videos about once a week. So it'd be awesome to have you here. All right, you guys. What's the overall energy of your connection between you and your person right now? The nine of air, nine of swords. Okay, you guys, this is a little rough. So what is going on here? Let's get some more cards here. You know the person. The two of pentacles, flexibility. Okay, I feel like you both are having a hard time fitting one another into your daily life, or maybe you're having a hard time seeing from the other's point of view, having a hard time coming to some kind of compromise or agreement on something. It's really stressing you both out. You're both having some kind of fears around this connection. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Maybe one of you wants more of a commitment and the other doesn't, or they're afraid of commitment, kind of running from it. Could be, um, you know, the person who's more running, uh, they have a lot going on right now. They're not ready for that commitment. Trust, it is safe for you to trust in this situation. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like one of you is kind of chasing, the other is running. One of you, I feel, has some trust issues. I'm sure it has to do with getting burned in the past by love. Here we have balance as well. One person is giving too much in this relationship. Interesting since we have balance and two of pentacles. Maybe your person is kind of rigid or stubborn in their views of relationships. And they're, they're just having a hard time compromising with you on something. So let's take a look at you, Leo, and then we will look at your person. So, Leo, where is your energy overall in this connection? The Queen of Chalices, Queen of Cups. So, you definitely care a lot about this person here. And I feel, you know, from just from the artwork on this card, I feel like this person, usually the Queen of Cups is a bit of a, you know, a bit of a happier card. Um, you know, just uh, an energy of love and care, but this clearly depicts sadness, you know, maybe crying over someone. So maybe you, some of you have even been crying over this lately. So yeah, I'm sorry if you're in a rough situation. You're definitely in your emotions over this right now at the moment. Maybe some of you are feeling a bit rejected, and I know that can really hurt as a Leo. Finances and career. So for some of you, there could be just practical issues getting in the way here. Okay. Second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. So maybe they might have shut you out in the cold, rejected you because they needed to just f focus on other things in their life. And you're still hoping, though, that there is still a chance for this relationship. Okay, this, we got two cards coming out here. The scorpion, wow. Okay, you feel like stung. Maybe you even tried to lash out at this person a little bit um, in defense of your, your pride. Not for all of you. And hyena, yeah, I feel like you've been trying to laugh this off. You've been trying to regain your fire. Like, these are both fire cards. So, maybe you, you feel like you've gone a little mad with this situation here. It's been a lot for you to deal with, it seems. Through it all, I feel you're still loving this person. You want to give them another chance. You're really hoping, or you're hoping they will give us another chance. Vulnerable. Wow. I'm ready to tell you everything. So I feel like maybe if you did kind of lash out at this person or you felt stung or something, um, you're now more like the Queen of Cups where, you know, you just want to show this person how much you love them, how much you care about them. So maybe there was a little bit of an ego clash, but underneath it all, you truly care. 
And I definitely have seen that with Leos. That's why I do think pretty well of Leos because, you know, they do, they do have a pride. They do have an ego, but I feel like they genuinely care too. And that's what's really important. Okay. Let's see. What are you thinking about your connection? The Knight of Swords. The Eight of Wands. Okay, we got a lot of communi communication here. So, yeah, I'm ready to tell you everything. It looks like, gosh, you, you want to just really rush in with a bunch of stuff. Tell your person everything you have been feeling and thinking about them. So, some of you, I would caution, you know, don't do this too quickly. Really make sure that you're coming from a place that's more at peace and at ease. You know, if you don't want to stir up more conflict or drama. Yeah, speaking of stirring up conflict or drama, here's the tower. So something kind of shocking went down in your connection here. Let's clarify the tower. I feel like this just has to do with, you know, probably um, a breakup here. Yeah, here's the seven of swords. So maybe you found out something about your person that you didn't know before. Maybe they lied to you about something and it's been pretty difficult for you to come to terms with this. Or just... Um, some of you, it's hard to come to terms with just, um, just not knowing like what's really going on with this person. You know, even if they haven't done anything shady with you or anything like that, it's just, you're finding them hard to really get to know, to really understand them. Okay. What are you feeling about them? So I feel like you really are, it's like you're trying to plan, almost plan some communication and you feel like it's really going to shock them. It's interesting that we have like papers on this picture here as well. It's like blank paper. So yeah, you've been feeling like they've just been giving you like nothing to work with, I feel. Okay, here's the Knight of Pentacles. So you've been there, you've been really fixed and reliable for this person. I feel like you're you're willing to be patient with them. Ace of Swords. I feel like you also have been very honest with them. Leo's generally pretty honest. And here's the Two of Swords. So you do feel conflicted. Maybe some of you have just tried to, you know, just lean back, just let things be. And then the other half of you is like, I really, really want to speak my truth to this person. Okay, what are you stuck in? What are you conflicted about? Here's the Knight of Wands. Very interesting Knight of Wands. And here's the seven of pentacles. So I feel like part of you just wants to come rushing into this person, just like your fiery, passionate self, maybe kind of tell them what you think. And the other half of you is like, I need to just be patient. I need to give this person time. I, you know, I've invested so much in this connection. I don't want to do anything to push them away. Okay, what else, Leo? Here's the Seven of Chalices, Seven of Cups. It's the Five of Pentacles. Man, so it feels like you, you really feel like you've lost your way you know, when it comes to this connection. Here's the Wheel. So I feel that you are, you've done everything you can do up to this point. Um, you've really been really been there for your person and you know that all that's left to do is just let things kind of be worked out by the universe. Like you're not, I feel like you are done trying to push this connection. You've had, I feel like you've really had enough and you know, the seven of cups, this can be just dreaming. Maybe you're afraid that you had some illusions around this connection and you feel like they've just been shattered recently. Okay, let's take a look at your person now. Where are they in this connection overall? What is their overall energy? Leo's person. There's the Eight of Cups. I do feel for many of you, they walked away from you rather than vice versa. So like I said, that, that has to be like extra hard for Leo. Calling in your soulmate. 
So this person, you know, I feel like they still have an, an affinity for you. They could be feeling like, you know, maybe they need this break or this distance for right now. But they believe you guys do have this connection and you will be able to come back together. Obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. So this is either they saw you as being obsessive about the connection or they were actually pretty obsessive about the connection. Maybe didn't let you know this because they were just giving you a blank face, you know, blank pages to work with, but it could be underneath. They were actually pretty obsessed with you and this connection. And, you know, especially if this is a Scorpio and they, they were like, I need to, they needed to distance themselves and hide, you know, their feelings. That's, they didn't want to give you any power over them. Here's the elk. Okay, so let's see with the elk here. I feel like they're trying to really grow up and try to find their place in the world right now. I also am getting like very stubborn from this. So I feel like you guys are with like a Taurus or Scorpio, but of course you do not have to be with one of those signs for this reading to still be for you. Um, yeah, they're, they're like super stubborn. So let me get a clarifying card. What are they so stubborn about you guys? What are they so stubborn about? They have a lot, yeah, like I said, there's like a pride or ego clash here. They have a lot, a lot more than you do, okay, because um, I feel like you're really tender-hearted underneath. Okay, here's the Ten of Cups. They, I feel like they were too prideful to admit what a beautiful, just bond they felt with you. Maybe they've also been too prideful to admit that they do see you as their soulmate if you know, such a thing exists for them. Okay, so what else? reconciliation it's time to unite and work together now so it's interesting you they have a reconciliation card you have a second chance card so looks like both of you eventually do want to come back together somehow or it's, not, it's going to be hard to just forget this connection for both of you so if it's a faded or you know divine counterpart connection it will probably you know eventually come back around if you want it to, you know, you don't have to be in a connection if you don't want to, obviously. <laughs> okay, so what are they thinking about you right now? The Seven of Swords, oh my gosh, the Seven of Swords coming up twice here. I feel that they might have a hard time even admitting the truth to themselves about what they're feeling for you. The Seven of Wands, wow, Seven and Seven. They're, they're like very defensive. Like I feel like they are having a hard time seeing from your point of view. And I feel it's because they're mostly stubborn. And here's the nine of wands. Boundaries, defense, boundaries, you know, just... This is really intense energy with the nine of swords here as well. Wow. So why do they have these boundaries up? Maybe they're trying to guard their mind from all the obsessive thoughts they were having. Here's the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be you. You know, maybe they saw you as someone worth, uh, you know, committing to, worth marrying, and they put up walls because they weren't ready for that. And for others of you, this could be, you know, someone that they're currently with that they have to take care of. Like, it could be a mother or a spouse or partner, and they put up walls right now. So let's take that how that resonates for your situation. Okay, so what are they feeling about you right now? The Five of Pentacles. Interesting, we had Five of Pentacles come up for you as well. So you're both like feeling kind of rejected by each other, or they at least feel bad about themselves. Um, maybe they feel guilty, ashamed. Here's the King of Wands. And the Ace of Cups. Now that's interesting. I feel they, they are feeling pretty down and worthless about themselves right now. It could be because, th be because they feel like they have some more financial progress they need to make. But I feel it's maybe they f have some regret over, you know, not showing you this love that they have in their heart for you. This could also mean that since they've been busy kind of working on their own things, 
pursuing their own goals, going after their own visions. They have recognized that they do love you. And in this recognition, they feel pretty bad about themselves for not giving you more of what you deserve. So I do feel they are, you know, starting to recognize your value. If they didn't already. What else for this person? Here's the Ten of Pentacles. So I do feel like a lot of them are in a situation that's not something that they can just easily leave right now. The Ten of Wands, wow, yeah. They have a lot of responsibilities, you guys. So whether this is family stuff, this is a job, it could be like just everything. This I feel like this person is kind of like everything to everyone. And here's the Hermit. So many of you, they're not they're not talking to you or not doing very much talking to you. So why are they being so silent? Death. Okay, so I feel for most of you, they're just they're overloaded with work or or family concerns. And the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like they're afraid of losing money or something. There's some kind of major change going on in their financial situation. Afraid of someone taking advantage of them for their money. Okay, so let's see. What are their intentions towards you right now? There's the Knight of Swords. So they might want to come in and talk a bit more, but I feel like it would be more just business stuff rather than them wanting to talk much about emotions, how they feel. They might just want some brief communication with you. Okay, what are their blocks when it comes to this connection? Here's the Five of Swords. And this is the Queen of Swords. Whoa. They might be really afraid that you, you know, especially with the scorpion here, that you might cut them to pieces if they approach you. So this is, if they do come in and try to talk to you, I feel like it's, yeah, like I said, just really fast because they feel like you are like above them, like a step above them mentally. So you could just like outwit them, outsmart them, you know, win an argument. So this is something they are a little scared of. For others of you, this could be an ex, you know, ex-partner, um, and you know, ex-spouse, and there are a lot of difficulties going on with them right now. So this makes them very unavailable to you at the moment. Okay, this fell out as well. Here's the hermit. Yeah, they they also like to isolate themselves, and they, they have a hard time with emotional in intimacy. Okay, so what are their next actions for you? the chariot so some of them might come forward travel to towards you try to work things out with you keep things moving with you here's the ace of cups wow so some of them might eventually come in with some communication about feelings or you will just be feeling the love from them or just noticing the love or seeing like some kind of change in attitude like a fresh start with you Okay, what's the next month look like in this connection for Leo and their person? There's strength. Okay, there's your card. Two of Wands. So a new path might open up in this connection for you. There's something new happening in your life. And I feel like that going through this situation here is really making you stronger. So that you will maybe be able to take a more interesting path in life that you didn't think you could take before. And here is the Three of Cups. So I feel like this, this connection is still not going to be quite brought back into a union here. Um, if you see this person, it might be just more... We're in a casual context, more just, uh, you know, meeting as friends rather than, you know, being able to declare all this love for one another. Okay, and they, they still may, might not be fully making up their mind either about what to do with this connection. So it's requiring a lot of strength for them to hold back here. So what is their overall? Eight of Cups, yeah. This came out as well, Five of Wands. So wow, Five of Wands. 
five of swords. So I feel like this person is just not in the best place for a connection right now. So what is giving them so much conflict? The moon. Okay. They have a lot of fears over this connection. Very fearful of it. Okay. And here's the three of wands. I feel like they, they're afraid of not understanding what the future holds. Like this, I feel like this, if they chose this connection fully, it would really throw them off of their plans and visions for the future that they currently have. Okay, let's get some advice for you and then we'll get some message cards for them. So what advice does Leo most need to know on this connection right now? The Knight of Cups. Interesting, you have the Queen of Cups coming up for you and now we have the Knight of Cups. So I feel that... The best way to approach this person is in a very just loving manner, you know, to show them your love, you know, don't put yourself in a position where, you know, you feel that you're going to make yourself worse, feel worse or anything. But I feel like the more just love and care you can show them, if you really are trying to win them back, the better. And for some of you, this, this could be, um, you know, Reach out to them when you're intuitively guided to, or else, you know, kind of, you can wait patiently a bit until they're ready to, to talk. And I don't mean, when I say wait, I don't mean like do nothing and just wait around for them. I mean, get really busy in your own life in the meantime. Here's, wow, 666, shift your focus, ego pursuits and financial focus. So this person could be very much in their ego right now. And maybe you are, you are too, because you're, you're just worrying so much about this connection. So this is a reminder to, you know, raise your vibration back up because you guys are usually very, very positive energy. Okay. What other advice do you need, Neil? You know? solitude, contemplation, stillness, and meditation. So that sounds kind of what your person is doing right now. So maybe you could benefit from a lot of that as well. And as a Leo, you're, you're naturally pretty social. So maybe you can really benefit from really just taking some time in silence just to cool down for a bit. Okay. More advice for Leo. Raven, shaman, you are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Interesting. So I'm getting that you guys are very intuitive and very deep. So a lot of you have, I feel like, have some Scorpio in your chart. And so maybe it's a time for you to start recognizing these parts of yourself. Maybe they've gone like unrecognized to this point, you know, this more mystical part of you, this, this part that is just very, very knowing and wise. I feel like it's time for you to honor that part of yourself. Okay. So what would your person actually say to you, Leo? Okay. Well, this is um, not a message card. I'll get you another message card, but yin and yang two, two, two balance. So interesting is we have the two of pentacles, which can be a card of balance as well. So something is off balance. Many of you guys are divine counterparts in this connection. So balance, that is, that is a key for you to focus on from this reading. Bring yourself back into balance. You can do this maybe through you're taking some time alone. And even if you don't hear from me now, don't mistake my silence for not loving you. You are always and forever in my heart. Wow, that's interesting. Interesting that it mentioned their silence since we have the hermit coming up. I have lied to you. Oh my gosh, we did have the Seven of Swords and betrayed you. I was in a very dark space at that time. I'm doing much better now. I am not the same person that you remember. So it's up to you if you want to give them another chance. It does look like many of you do. I don't feel good enough for you yet. I feel unworthy of your love. All right, so what else would the person say to you, Leo? How do I get you alone? 
So maybe right now it has been very hard to, you know, have time with just you two. Maybe there's been other people around, especially if it's a work situation or a family situation. So they're just missing some one-on-one -on -one time with you. I believe you. Interesting. Yeah, because you are definitely the truth teller in this connection, and they have a harder time facing the truth and telling the truth. But it looks like they do listen to you, you know, if you're resonating with that. And, you know, they, they feel you do really speak truth. Oh, wow. Look at this. This comes up a lot with the Ace of Swords. Your words keep ringing in my head. So, yeah, what did I say about they do listen to you? Interesting. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you. And if you don't feel this reading was for you, you can try your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. Or you can try another reader. So many great readers here on YouTube. If you're interested in any of the decks, they should all be listed below. And anything else, I'd love for you to subscribe here if you haven't already. And thank you so much if you have. I hope I get to see you soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye, Leos.